Hi, Chris Good here, and this is step two in building electric guitars with Fusion 360 and a CNC milling machine. Um, in the last video, we brought in a sketch of um, a Fender Telecaster typed um, body, and uh, then we brought in the neck, and then we used fill gaps to close off all those vectors. And now it's time to turn that two dimensional sketch into a three-dimensional body that can then later be machined on the CNC. And in order to do that, we need to find out the dimensions of the body, how thick it is, and how deep these pockets that we're going to carve are. Now, fortunately, I've got access to this technical document here that tells you exactly all of those measurements. Um, what do you do if you don't have one for the guitar you're interested in making? Well, if it's your own design, those are things that you should think about. Um, things like the neck pocket are usually pretty standard for a one inch thick neck including the the fingerboard um, but not necessarily it kind of depends on the hardware that you're working with so it's definitely something to consider uh, before you start carving out if there's a guitar that exists that you're interested in in making like a copy of maybe you can measure some of these things that yourself or just keep looking online you never know what is gonna pop up okay so I've written all these down um, it's 1.75 here uh, we've got uh, 0.625 for the neck pocket, 0.687 for uh, these two pockets right here, and for the this one it's 0.85. So oh, and the control cavity is 1.5. So I've written all those down, and we're going to go over to the fusion side and uh, see what we can do. So this is where we left off in fusion. We're um, in this sketch now, and. Uh, what I'm interested in doing is actually creating a new component where I'm going to uh, copy and paste this sketch into a new sketch. So I'm going to take what I've done with the body so far in the sketch environment. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to make a new component that is going to be the body. All right, there we go. And in that component, make sure this is the active component. We're gonna create a new sketch in the same plane as the other one. And then we're just gonna paste that in. And this can, should copy everything into exactly the same place. Then give us a dialog and we'll just click okay. All right. I'm not quite finished with the sketch, but I am going to hide the other ones though, so we're just dealing with the sketch that we brought over. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time editing the sketch, because there's some things that I don't really want to include in this component. Uh, like this hole here at the very back, there's screw holes for the pick guard that I'm going to take out, because um, I'm actually just going to drill those when I fit the pick guard, and I've already got a template for that back here in the first component, the master component that we were dealing with. So let me just spend a little bit of time doing that, sort of weeding this stuff out, and um, I'll try to speed things along in post-production so you don't have to watch this whole thing. Okay, that's pretty much everything I needed to take out. <clears throat> I'm going to put in one new thing, which is a line sort of blocking off the neck pocket here. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. I do want that to be a separate um, sort of piece. I'm done editing the sketch now. And um, you can see that when I click here that this whole area is highlighted. That's really important. If you don't get that ability to do that, it means that one of your vectors here, one of your lines, isn't quite closed. And depending on how you brought your sketch over, even if you filled in all those gaps, you want to make sure that the parts that you want to be able to close off, like these, right? Those are all pockets that we need to route the depth for. Um, all right, that those um, need to be selectable in this way. Okay, so now we're done with the sketch and it's time to extrude. So I'm going to select everything in the body except for those holes. Right. So these are the holes where the strings are going to pass through the body with ferrules on the back side 
and these are the holes where the screws that bolt the neck on are going to pass through. And now that I've highlighted this whole thing, I'm going to choose uh, Create and then Extrude. And I know the body is supposed to be 1.75 inches deep, so 1.75, except I'm actually going to bring this below the surface of the sketch. So I'm going to go in the negative direction. It's going to be minus 1.75 inches and create a new body. Hey, pretty cool. Not too shabby. Now, you'll notice that we don't see the sketch anymore. We automatically hid sketches. Hid that first sketch. That's a feature. Um, but we're going to turn it back on now so that we can get these pockets cut. Now, I remember that the control cavity is 1.5 inches thick. So we're going to do another extrude. But in this case, the operation changes from new body to cut because we're cutting a hole. And again, we're going in the negative direction, negative 1.5. Let's just tab down to the, no, no, OK. Negative 1.5 inches. All right, there's our control cavity. Um, <clears throat> actually going to go back to our plan, just to be sure. 8.5 inches for the bridge pickup. So we'll extrude cut negative 0.85 that's 0.85 inches good okay this channel here and the neck pickup pocket are both 0.687 so we're going to extrude again cut Minus 0.687. Great. This is starting to look like an electric guitar body. Now here's the most important one. We want to make sure we get this one exactly the right depth, 0.625 inches for the neck pocket. Or if um, you have some other dimension in mind, make sure that this is right. 0.625. Okay. So this is going to go down, extrude, cut, and it's minus 0.625. All right, there we go. Now let's hide the sketch again, see what we've got. And that is pretty cool. All right. That's going to do it for this video. We'll see you in the next one where we're going to take this body that we've got and we're going to um, start developing toolpaths to actually machine it. So we'll see you in the next video.